Good morning. Here we are in August. That's hard to believe. I don't know where the rest of the year went. You're watching the Cannon County Chamber Connection Show, and of course this is the August edition. And this is brought to you by DTC Communications, and they do a lot for our community, and we're glad to have them. And they did um, have an appreciation luncheon for us like they do every year. Uh, really for the whole town was invited, but um, the food was good and Mr. Townsend uh, talked of some of the progress that they're making with fiber optics and everything in our area. So we're proud to have them. I like a co-op and that's what DTC is, so that's fine with me, I like that. Okay, another thing that you missed um, is we had our We Care Cannon distribution on the 31st at the high school, and that is where, well, I'd say three-fourths of uh, Cannon County was at that event because they hand out school supplies, shoes, clothing items, haircuts, Phys sports physicals, any school supply that a student needs in Cannon County, they have it. And I ha there's not too many places where this happens. And I was so proud because there were so many people that turned out to volunteer for that. And uh, lots of kids went through there. Everybody seemed happy. Uh, there was a few that weren't really into school starting again so soon. <laughs> hmm. But hey, it's here. You might as well be prepared for it. You know but I have. do want to give a shout out to the yeah. group that has organized this. I believe that this may have been happening about 12 years in Cannon County. I'm not sure if that's right, but it's been going a long time. And it was the first year that they held it at the high school. It because is. Before they held it at uh, Woodbury or Can Cannon County Elementary now. Right. But uh, Courtney Nichols, I talked to him the other day and he said it was a great success. They had over 600 kids walk through that line. They said, you, you would think that uh, we would have torn our hair out being the first year, but this thing was. No, the well lines organized. were smooth and everything. He said, really, this worked out better for everybody rather than having it. Uh, it did. You school. had more Grammar room. Uh, I was in the cafeteria part. I was handing out washable markers. So you have, they were supposed to go to pre K and kindergarten children. But when you have a kindergartner and a first grade come up to you and you give the kindergartner washable markers, which is one of the favorite items, and the first grader is standing there with her backpack open, <laughs> I got to say I cheated. And so I gave the first grader stuff. <laughs> did you get any of the kindergartners or the first graders, did they get the chance to try out the washable markers no, in front of you? No, 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 no. That's what I want to give is a That's kindergartner and a first grader something to write on a wall with. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you, they had the neatest thing. They had a big white sign up there. Well, it had white paper on it on the wall in the cafeteria, and it had We Care Cannon. And then... Everybody that came through there could sign it. All the kids could sign it, so. There's the gospel yeah. markers, <laughs> yep. That's what they used them for. No, they were so proud. Listen, they give haircuts. And I think it's always so funny because the first child that gets a haircut, especially the boys, if it's anything unique, every other boy has that same haircut. <laughs> <laughs> The first year I worked in it, uh, this one little boy came and he was so proud. He came through there and he had a mohawk. Well, about every fourth little boy that came through there had a mohawk. <laughs> I think the Lions Club sits up and checks their eyes too. Yeah. So it's the whole deal right there. And you had tons of volunteers, very well organized. And I don't know who all is in that organization now, but I do know that some of them have been the same, Aletha and Dr. Thomas, uh, Tammy Nichols, uh, Jill Spry, 
and I'm sure there's others that I, I that are part of that anymore. But they do a great job, and this has gone on a long time. And we're very fortunate to have them. And I just wanted to give them, you know, it always says, the old saying, it takes a village. Well, the village was there. I'm going to give it to you. I've seen people there I hadn't seen in years. <laughs> I live here in Cannon County. All right, that's just a couple of shout outs to the things that go on, because we have a lot of volunteers. The Senior Center had a an appreciation luncheon for their volunteers, and we have a lot of volunteers. Listen, there was one lady that's 90 years old, I won't give any names, uh, but I think she had 600 and some volunteer hours. Now that's volunteering at anything they need. You know, you have people that go out and take meals to people that are homebound and everything. This this lady, that's a lot of volunteer hours, it is. I think we have another guest that just showed up. And I thought she was on Broadway. Oh, there she is. <laughs> anyway, uh, we want, I just wanted to give a shout out to the things that have done so well. And people work so hard to make this a great community to live in, and it is. So now we're going to start with our guests, and I want to introduce you to Mr. John Eden, and you are with Rustic Elegance Event Center, right? That's correct, yes. How long have you owned that? We've just a little bit over a year now we've had it, and um, it's, uh, it's it's a nice little place. It is a nice little place. <laughs> little. And, well, it's not little, <laughs> yeah. but you've been doing some renovations, right? Yes, we have. We, we, uh, we, when we got it, we just want to make some changes to it. So uh, we have about 26 acres there, and we remodeled uh, inside of the um, event center itself. It's about 22 uh, square feet inside there. We redid the floors, and... Um, the buffet area and those kind of things. And now we're in the process of finishing up a 1,600 square foot pole barn. And we have a, we redid the ceremony site area, um, added pews and some, uh, some turf grass so that, you know, when it rains and everything like it does out here. Stays green in the winter. Stays green it? in the winter <laughs> and you don't get muddy on your nice shoes That's and right. your dresses. So. We did now, all that. What events are you right now? You're basically your main events are weddings, right? That's the that's predominantly the biggest part of what we do is a, is weddings there. But we have had meetings, we've had parties, we've had birthdays. Um, we had like Karen's Custom Creations, which is like a little shop that comes in about three times a year. Um, we also want to start doing a lot of um, like crafts fairs and things like that with that with the with the new pole barn and the event center and the land area around it we can um, we can do a nice little fair there as well so it's uh, we have a lot of things we're looking to do we also have a bunch of acreage on top where there's an old barn up there that people like to take pictures of and um, we can use that whole area up there for the same types of things parking or whatever we need so it's got a lot of options to us and it and um, uh, the people that owned it before us, it, it was more of a hobby for them, wasn't really a business. So it didn't have any kind of online presence or anything mm -hmm. else. So we've been trying to work on that as well and get all that going. So we really want the, we really want the community to be able to enjoy the property because, I mean, it's got that waterfall and the, it's beautiful. And the stream and everything that comes out in the pond. And, and um, The only issue that it had, because it's right there on a narrow road mm -hmm. uh, was the parking. Yeah. And we, we have actually have redone the parking lot and ex ex extends. It's got like two, actually now three little areas that we right. can park cars into. So we can hold almost twice as many cars as we originally were able to hold right. when we first got it. So we've redone all that. That flood that happened last year kind of helped us out there. <laughs> <laughs> Once that roared through and took out the whole parking lot, well, as long as we got to fix everything up, we may as well, Might as well do it right. Huh? Yeah. That's a good attitude. So we did. 
And uh, it's, it's getting along. We're, um, we're very excited about it. We want to do some more things. We have a little Surrey up there that needs to be rebuilt, so we want to get that rebuilt and put it back down on, out in front. But um, we especially want to, to offer it up to, like, the county, uh, uh, you know, like the local businesses mm -hmm. and those kind of things to, to have things there and work with them as far as pricing goes and those kind of things because we really want the, the citizens, the people right here in town and around this area to be able to enjoy that property because it's been kind of, well, it was overgrown and now we kind of cut it back so you can see the waterfall a little more. And well, see, I've never it. seen the pole barn. Yeah, you or haven't been up there lately, have you? <laughs> but if you go into I Ace Hardware. I have lately. <laughs> <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> They got Ace Hardware. I don't think Terry would like hearing well, that. Bring them well. by too. <laughs> Guys can do it all over again. They uh, they go to Ace Hardware and they talk about it all the time. Yeah, you're probably a you, you first name basis with Ace Hardware, aren't you? Oh yeah, we yeah. Are. Them and uh, uh, who is it down the street there? Reed. Reed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we get getting to know everybody around here pretty. Oh, yes. Pretty well. Tell you well. one of the home runs you could hit. Okay. Uh huh. Go to visit Courtney Nichols down at Cannon County High School and let him know okay. that you are the new owner of Rustic Elegance. Can I borrow your pencil? Yes. And who am I? Terry? Courtney, Courtney Nichols. Nichols Courtney. is the principal. Of the high school. And also do the same with the Woodbury or the Cannon Elementary, I guess. No, I'm it's trying to Cannon County Middle School, and well, I'm, no. I'm going to be teaching drama well, that's there. That's true. Are you? But, <laughs> yes. But I'm talking about Cannon it. Elementary School where Emily Hancock You're is in the principal. Right of course, she's the principal of both. Right. But, yeah. But that's what I meant. Cannon too. County Elementary and Cannon Either County. You'll hit them both. Yeah, it's all in the same building right now. It's uh, Emily Hancock, and let her know who you are, because these schools are looking for places to have their sports banquets. Mm -hmm. um, they've, uh, they've already been talking about middle school, been talking about having some dances, uh, prom, you know, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. So you could probably score pretty good when you tell them. Okay. But just make sure you let them know that you're, you're the new owner. And you might, uh, you have a website. Yes, we do. What it's, is it? It's, uh, oh, hang on, I have to remember the name of the place first. <laughs> Vincent <laughs> Rustic Elegance. Thank you. Thank you. Rustic Elegance wow. Event Center .com. <laughs> You have a cheat sheet. I do, but I didn't put the name of the place on there. <laughs> Forgot that part. Uh, Rustic <laughs> Elegance Event, event Center .com. This man travels. You also have something in another state that you do, don't you? Well, well I, yeah. I, um, I used to actually work for Disneyland. I was a, a performer and a policeman out in California. <laughs> I know, wacky. And uh, and I just retired from Disneyland. Were you acted like being a policeman, or were Sometimes. you actually a policeman? <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> People that go assault Mickey Mouse, yeah. and he's right there arresting them. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I, I worked out there at Disney. I did stuff television theater out there for a long time. And I had been going back and forth until last November-ish. And then I finally stopped. Well, a really good friend of mine, they offered me another contract. And I, and, and I went, oh, yeah, sure, I'll do that. And a really good friend of mine I was talking to on the phone, he goes, so how long are you going to be doing this? It's like having a girlfriend in California and you're leaving your wife to go play. I went, that's a good way to put it. So I had to call him back and tell him I wasn't going to be coming back and I was going to retire. And so I did. And then I came out here full time, and here I am. All yeah, right. Well, nice to meet you, because I'm from California also. They Where call about? me Miss California. And um, I love Anaheim because I love Anaheim Angels. But I own the dance studio, Canon Arts Dance, and uh -huh. so we may have a lot in common. Oh, yeah. Plus, I am your neighbor, and I was stranded in that big flood with you. Like, our truck was the one that was. Your truck was the one that was stuck in the water. <laughs> Thank you. We felt, and I was going to go out there, and my wife was like, no, don't you go out there. It's <laughs> pouring rain. The water is running like a river. Yeah. And, so, and we, we watched when you got stuck over there, and we felt so bad. Much. You know, we talked about binge watching before this episode. I think we're going to find a bunch of people binge watching this thing for sure. <laughs> that but was thank you. you. And you have upgraded it. It looks, the parking looks terrific, and so you've, you forgot to mention you've landscaped even the parking. Oh, You've got yeah. all kinds of things out there. So 
we go up and down. We live on up on Doolittle, up a little farther, uh -huh. and we go up and down and monitor your progress. And we've always called it the Cave House, and it is fabulous. It's a beautiful location. Yeah, it's, we like it. We want everybody to. We, we, my wife said we should put a little picnic tables out on the grass and let people come and say, enjoy the picnic tables. We don't have. So you've money. owned this for a year. To How tell did, them to take their trash yeah, to the money your, leave. And your children. Yeah. How did you find <laughs> rustic elegance? What, while we were in California, my brother-in-law, who lives out there, was actually building a restaurant in near Franklin. Okay. Um, he has several restaurants out there, and he was moving out here with one. And um, and his real estate agent saw this come up for sale and said, you might want to buy it. And he knew that my wife had always wanted to run, she ran a coffee shop for him out there, and she had wanted to do something like this. She was in hospitality, and I was, I was still going back and forth, and he said, would you like to, to run it? And she said, sure. And so here we are. We had Yay. no idea 26 acres requires a lawnmower. And <laughs> And That's a three national pastime in Tennessee. Oh my goodness! Or at least some goats. Yeah, we have some goats that aren't even ours. We don't know where they come from. And then there's three horses that came with the property. So they're like my Were big they dogs. Yours or they are now. Audience? They are now. And we, and we, I don't. I never. I mean, I've ridden the horse, you know, a few times, but never took care of them. So we're getting to know each other pretty well now. Getting to know, I'm getting to have know about Have you given horses. the horses a name? I, they have. Okay. They don't have names. I don't know if they're the right ones, but we gave them names. <laughs> you gave them your names, yeah. Gave them so. names. There's Wendy. Well, maybe the guy that owns them is watching, will watch this. <laughs> there's one, there's a boy there that somebody, they, the people who owned the <laughs> place boy. beforehand had it. And then <laughs> boy. A boy. A boy. Great. <laughs> it was a boy horse and two girl horses. Oh, okay. Oh, he yeah. doesn't spend a lot of time no, with the boy. girl horses. He goes down well, by the stream. Well, that's because he's a gelding, he's, I'd that say. <laughs> He doesn't want, he does I think they bother Otherwise, him. he would hang out with the women. Well, you think, you would think, but maybe they're, you know, a little naggy. They don't let him, they, every time I feed all three of them, they push him up, he gets the last bit. Poor guy. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. So I put a little extra in his bowl, as opposed to the other two. Well, there you but go. when they're done, they come over and push him out of his bowl, because so, he can't win for anything over there. But it's been it's been really it's been a lot of work and we're still working on it. We're still working on changing things up and making things different. And well, I don't think there'll ever come a time when you won't have something to do. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I don't think you just this was him. not my plan <laughs> yeah. for us too. for my life. <laughs> Don't bang the table. Oh, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the microphone does not like The cameraman us. over there is the cold anyway. cheese is having a hard time with the <laughs> yes, whole situation he is. right He's now. He's looking over here. He's going, don't bang the table. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I'm just afraid to ask you anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, John, you're great. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to tell us about? I uh, just what come you're on doing? by. If you want to come on by and walk around, you are more I than welcome. I may do that. You're more. We love people do it all the time. We've had people come walking by, and it's funny because you're sitting in there watching, you know, yes to the dress, and you'll see somebody over there on the other side of the pond, <laughs> and uh, coming up and wave to you in the house. Hey, how you doing? We've had people go in the cave. This. Uh, uh, Three or four different groups. Well, you don't have to worry about me going in a cave. Oh, we went in there like three feet, and that was about <laughs> as far as we wanted to go. We, we, it's a little scary for Waiting? Me. Huh? Waiting in there? No, you just walk in. You oh, just okay, walk but in. you haven't been in the water in the cave. Yeah, it was lower, but I've okay. heard it comes, and it comes out of there. It comes out of there, it, boy. Holy well, man. when it yes. rains, there's a lot of caves in Cannon County that fill up with water. Yeah, yeah. that's one of them. I <laughs> I forget how many rescues we've had here over the years where oh. people will go, what do they call it? Spelunking Spelunky or Spelunky. whatever, yeah. and then they get down there and the water comes up and they can't get, they get out. out. Yeah. No. Well, you don't have to worry about me be doing that because. <laughs> That's a newspaper headline we won't see? No. <laughs> if it is, somebody kidnapped me and <laughs> threw me in there because. <laughs> <laughs> And that would make that. a newspaper I'm headline. I'm not going sure. in yeah. voluntarily, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> I don't like varmints yeah. and reptiles, and I don't even know. I have been in caves, but they're more commercial. Mm -hmm. You know, like the one. Um, Come by Seymour. Yeah. yeah. Where it's 
you have a guide, you uh -huh, know, and sure. lights. And a path. And, and a path. Light. <laughs> yeah. A way out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> By all means, I remember I took two of my grandkids when they were little, and um, the boy was crazy about dinosaurs. So we're in there, and this young man is doing the tour, you know, and he's telling us about these albino fish that are in this pool of water, and of course nobody could see them. But finally he looks up and he goes, do you all have any dinosaurs in here? <laughs> And that kid took it pretty good, and he goes, I haven't seen any lately, so I thought, okay, that settled that. But as far as for your just plain old caves, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't care what lives in there. Yeah, I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, I'm better off. That's something I don't know no, about. No. And it's just like big rocks leaning up against each other. It's scary. And I come from California where there's earthquakes. I figure any minute this is all coming down. So I don't even want to tempt it. Well, yeah, that would be a headline. Yeah. You're yeah. not going to have anything <laughs> in the caves in, right? Like a party? Yeah, or oh. anything. Oh, you know. Hey, you wow. never I know. I can rent that out, too. Maybe I will. Oh. I don't know. You, better get, about you it. better get good event insurance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Double the insurance to go inside there. No, I don't. I don't. There's a poor little man who comes by uh, uh, from sort of tracing the water from somewhere. And they come up there maybe twice a month. And he's been climbing up the waterfall to get into the cave or up by the cave. And I said, you know, you can just go around right there. <laughs> walk right There's up. stairs over there. Right? It's really easy. And he goes, well, thank you. <laughs> Poor guy's getting soaking wet going up the waterfall. <laughs> I, I watched it a few times. Yeah, that's when you do. You watch just him do the hard times, and you go and tell him, and then he's going, now you tell me. I asked yeah. my wife, should I tell him yet? Yeah, let's let him have one no, more time. I'm, I'm getting some entertainment out of this. I got yeah, some popcorn going, yeah. But after the big rain, it was coming down pretty hard. I felt bad, so I thought you should go around. <laughs> so we don't get washed down. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure this will be the one he watches, too. Okay. <laughs> well, you don't have to leave. But I'm going to talk to Lori now. Well, I want to hear Lori's stories. All right. Okay, okay good. Cool. Lori, you just got back from New York. We did. We got back from the Big Apple, and we had some of our Canon Arts dancers on Broadway, like I on saw. the boards. I they saw were dancing, wow. and they took a bow. Uh, they actually got to dance on the Lion King stage. And we also danced in Times Square. I seen the vi I seen the thing on Facebook. It was it. amazing, and it, it just was. It blew my mind. I'm from California, but I do love New York. I stayed with my nephew. He showed me the town, and of course, I also had to go to baseball. That's my other thing. You ask about where I'm from. I love the Angels. The Angels, so, the yeah. Anaheim Angels of <laughs> Los Angeles. Yeah, don't go there with me. But um, <laughs> but anyway, we had the cool thing is that we have dancers from here representing us with musical theater background and in, on Broadway. I mean, it, I don't know, it was like a dream, kind of a dream come true for all of us. We've also danced at Disney World, not land, but um, this was our, this, we worked on it, Carolyn, for two years because of COVID. We, right, we, I, I mean, think everybody <laughs> worked on everything for two, two years. years we had a lot and then they fell off, so we, didn't have the numbers that we, you know, started with, but the ones that persevered had a fabulous time. So kudos to our dancers. They did uh, jazz and tap. They did. Uh, um, they worked on an oldie applause, the old musical applause. Mm -hmm. So that's what they did, um, and it was really, really super fun. Well, I bet they were excited. It was pretty exciting. What was their ages? Uh, they were all, I'd say, preteen, maybe 12 to 16. Okay, I'm sure they were. That's, that's a big thing for an adult, much less a child or a teenager. It was a big thing for me. I got to go up on stage with them at the end, and I got a, a, a presentation, a studio award from the actress that's on Broadway now playing Jasmine in Aladdin. So oh, another wow. Disney. So for everybody, it was a great, great, uh, uh, great thing. And Woodbury should be honored that we have a dance studio that can participate 
in Disney World and Broadway. This is a, this is a big thing. We have come up, our programming has come up, um, and that's one of the reasons I'm here is because we have registration today. I was down at the studio putting out some fires. We're at 211 Main Street, but we're right across from the courthouse. You can't right. visit. Mm -hmm. um, but we are opening today at 4 for our fall registration. So we're going to be open today, tomorrow, and Friday from four to six, and we recommend in-person registration if you're new or if you need to order dancewear or uh, if you have questions about class placement, so. Okay, that's the other thing, Lori, I was gonna ask you. Yeah. What age groups are we looking at? Because I know you have several, you have ballet, jazz, tap, um, clogging. clogging is the big one. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> I came from California and I never clogged, but when I got here, everybody I, clogs. I it's had the popular. most fun. Uh, we have a great, uh, he's a national champion um, clogger, and he was just in the Smithfield Fiddler's Jamboree with a group. Uh, so our clogging program is as equally popular as our ballet program. Wow. So, Ages, we have three, we start at three because we, they have to be potty trained. <laughs> it's, it's, you know what, it's not easy taking off those two tooth leotards and tights when they gotta go to the bathroom. So it, we start at three, but we go to your age. So we have adult cloggers, adult tappers, adult ballet. And we're going to be implementing our yoga back in place. So we do have programming for adults and then everything in between. Do you still have uh, certain exercise type classes? We have garage bar at 4.30 in the morning. You have uh, what? Garage so bar. Not, you don't Word drink at the bar. Oh, okay. You exercise at the uh, bar. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just wanted so to what make do you that do? clear. My garage you bar said, has a whole different meaning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was going to say, what do you do? Set up a table with <laughs> drinks and you say, hey, tease your people. Say, no, 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 you can't have any of that, but we're here to exercise. That's why we call it the garage. <laughs> well, it's uh, it's vernacular. I mean, they call it something that's the bar now because garage bar is a now a copyrighted name, but we, we call it the bar. But it is for exercise. <laughs> we have a dedicated group that comes in before work and of course uses the ballet bar, mm -hmm. but also it's got a Pilates feel to it and, and that type of thing. So yes, we have that, we have, and then our, you know, our, our adult ballet is a great exercise program as well, so. Yeah, I would probably at this point have to use the bar and a walker. <laughs> Walker ballet. What are you talking about? I wouldn't even get out of my wheelchair. <laughs> so, so yeah, we we um, we have a great staff. We will be implementing our musical theater. We're going back to Disney World. Not we're kind of alternating. We went to New York this time. We're going to go back to Disney. Um, we get to be in the Main Street Parade, mm -hmm. which is so cool. And Epcot. I, I've been there. I've seen that. That was the one thing I didn't think I would be crazy about of all the parks that I went to, and that was my favorite. Really? Which, which the Main Street? No, the where you had Mickey and Cinderella oh, right. and Magic Snow White. Kingdom. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Magic Kingdom. So, but we have a lot more than just those programs. I mean, our we have a dedicate. We work a lot with MTSU. We try. Our studio focuses on technique versus a uh, cheer or dance team. We're more oriented towards getting a student ready for an academic career, say at a, MTSU is one of our only colleges, or the only college in uh, Middle Tennessee, or the state of Tennessee that has a dance major. And it's right up here. So we do try to cultivate our dancers towards that. Well, you're working now with, you said you were starting a drama class oh, at yeah. the middle school. Yeah. Hey, this is great. I had drama when I was in high school and middle school too. But um, it, this is a first. And you're kind of working in conjunction with the art center. Absolutely. We need Beth over that. here. But um, the art center wrote a grant and they, 
we're trying to get into the schools, and, and um, I am a certified drama teacher from California. I taught drama and dance in a magnet school, mm -hmm. and uh, we have been trying to implement drama in the system for a very long time. So they wrote the grant, and we took it to Mr. Curtis, who has implemented it. He's inserted us into the middle school, the brand new middle school here. And we had a lot of interest for the drama program. Oh, good. The other good. night, we had open house, and it was jam-packed. So hopefully, the interest in drama will you know, kind of fall over to people that come to see us at the dance studio and to come and see Beth here at the Art Center. Uh, we're totally collaborating um, on presentations and materials, and I'm just really excited. It starts Monday, so dance starts Monday at Canon Arts, um, and well, the school you, starts Monday. If you've never been in the dance studio, we have a great, they, how many years did you spend redoing this, Lori? <laughs> a long time, and you've just years. redone the floor again. Six years. And it's a great dance studio for Cannon County. And you have a lot of participation, and I think you have as many out-of-county people as you do in-county. You, and you make a great point, and that's one of the reasons that uh, Beth and the Art Center and myself want to get involved with the community schools, because why isn't the community... I agree. ...in... Our floor is one of the only... It's one of the sprung floors that we... And it's made out of white oak, which ties in with our... White really oak our, baskets. <laughs> yeah, our white oak baskets over here, white oak... You know, it ties into the community, um, and it, it's a... It's a work of art, that dance floor. It so. is, and the whole dance studio is, as well as our art center. Absolutely. We have a great art center here. I Everywhere I go, that's the first thing when I tell them where I'm, where I'm from, I'll say, oh, you have that art center. Yeah. And I thought, yes, we do. And you're lucky enough to be in here I in am. the office. So I'm that's... in the gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> She's a gift to the community, folks. She paid me to say it, but no. But, that, <laughs> but that's true. That's true. And welcome to the community. We've Thank been you. here. Um, this is our 16th, going on 16th year. And, um, you know, we, we love it. I do miss my angels, and, and uh, I get back to California for certain things. But... <laughs> Yeah, but, we're back there every once in a while, too. But it's, it I is a good community. Here. Yeah, the people have been wonderful out here, so it's been great to be here. I love it here. Now, when you were in California, whereabouts were you? Southern California. Go uh, Trojans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're into if that. If you were into that, yeah. I'm a Sooners fan, so. Oh, uh, okay. I know. Sorry. Are you an Angels fan, though, more importantly? No. Oh, wow. I was born and raised in Chicago, so Cubs and Bears all the way. Okay. Hey, we're about, I'm a Reds fan, and we're about ready to jump you for third place in the in the division now. We were at the bottom of the division about two days ago. Here comes a big announcement. Hey, we're out of last place <laughs> for the first you're time bigger, in 30 years. You're bigger baseball fans than I yeah. am. So. What uh, city or town are you from, then? Out in California? Yeah. Um, well, we lived in Corona. Oh, yeah, I know it. For a long time. Um, but, yeah, that's about mo where we spent most of our time was in Corona. We were in Silverado, so we were in uh, oh. Orange County. I've yeah. watched that movie a lot of times. Oh, I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorites. But in any case, yeah, so a lot of creative yeah, people. Hill. But come to the dance studio today at 4 o'clock. <laughs> well, I'm a Titans and a Broncos fan. Okay. And it has nothing to do with I'm baseball. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't guess I really have a baseball team. You know, I, I'm sorry, Lori. It's never been one of my favorite sports. I, don't, I like it's, to go, but I don't watch it on TV. No, because it's like watching golf. When I start Careful. yawning. Careful. <laughs> Careful. I know, but when I start yawning. I think, okay, I need to go to something more excited. Somebody's going to have to tackle somebody here. Wow. I guess you didn't see that brawl between the no, Angels and the really. Mariners. No. <laughs> yeah, that's when it gets fun. It's when yeah. the brawls happen, yeah. When they all get out so there. So far, there's been like 36 brawls this season so far. <laughs> that's the most probably in Major League Baseball history. I've watched too many movies. You need, that, you need to tackle that, that umpire. That's when it gets to be fun. 
Okay, guys, do you, you've been fun. Do you have any questions you want to ask each other before I go on? Okay, we'll just events? move out of the way. Ask each other. Wow, no, I think we're good. I, I'm welcome. This is the first time. This is a first. This is the first time I've ever been in a thing with her where they let two people, two guests <laughs> ask each other questions. <laughs> Do binge you, watching is coming. Yep. Yeah, yeah, binge. I'm yeah. gonna be binge watching, binge watching the, this thing. The Cannon County TV show. Yeah. yeah. Right at home. You should tell all your friends. Do and you family help with the productions thing. here? Like well, here? not since I've opened the studio. It's taken all my time. It, early on, when I moved here, I was in productions, mm -hmm. and a lot of our students though are involved. So I will say that and. Uh, that is a goal of ours, is to get them involved with the productions. So I will answer it that way. I Have wish I had more time. Have you come to any of the shows here? Have I what? Have you ever come to any of the shows no, here? No, I, I barely knew there were shows here. I, but I looked it up. audition. I looked it up. I know, I want to. But I, th I thought I would go see Cinderella. It's coming yes. up. Yes. Like, this is a backdrop for it, and I'm going to tell you about this. It just goes thing. right here? This is the only place it gets done? Oh, no. They right have a there. theater. Have, You've never seen the theater, have you? No, I, I went in there one day. I snuck in. Oh, well. While they were well, looking see, at the desk. you were doing that. You've seen it. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> no, they are having a thing here. Uh, Cinderella starts at the Art Center. On the 12th. Let me see, on the 12th. Thank you, and we'll go <laughs> here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the 12th. And we'll go through the 27th. And that will, the first two weeks is Friday and Saturday at 7.30 and a matinee at 12 noon. Uh, the third weekend will just be Friday and Saturday. You gotta but get your they're, tickets still because they're running out. They this will. Weekend. They're they going will. fast. The whole uh, intersection is gone. They are doing something, as you can see, where you can only see this backdrop. But they're going to have a VIP meet and greet with Cinderella and the other cast members. And it will be before the show on Saturday, August 13th, and Saturday, August 20th, from 5.30 to 6.30. And what's included in that is hors d'oeuvres, drinks, now remember, this is Cinderella, <laughs> drinks and desserts, <laughs> photo opportunity, in other words, your little kids that come can, will have their picture made at this backdrop with some of the cast. They're going to have crafts, and you get a take-home treat bag. Oh. Now, you do have to buy tickets for this, and I guarantee you there will be a limit, and they will sell out. So you need to get in touch with the Art Center and online and tell them that you would like tickets for that, and or you can call them or come in person. But the uh, there is a limited number available for those I think it's called the Enchanted Encounter. Hmm. And little kids, I believe they had something like this once before, and it was very popular. I mean, who doesn't want to meet Cinderella? <laughs> and wait till you see her carriage. It's worth it to come to the show to see Cinderella's wow. carriage. I want to see the mice do all their magical yeah. things. That's what I want to see. I want to see the lizards turned into horses. <laughs> Everyone has their favorite part. And here she is, won't go in the cage because of varmints, but she wants to see yeah, lizards. She wants to see a lizard. Yeah. Well, well, I'd rather see a horse, horse than a lizard. And they might could use your two horses. Well, they were, they were, um, they're Amish horses. They have two speeds, I was told. They go either trot or stop. So you'll see it for a second as it goes right through the stage. It's not. Uh, well. Those are Lamish horses now. I'll tell you what, they work for their food. They do. Now I'm But I guess they 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 like I like a certain speed. They do. They I I like the Amish. I, I like that. Anyway, Cinderella's gonna be here and you don't wanna miss it. And he's right. They will sell out on this one. And yeah. so if you've got grandkids or little kids or even adults. I don't have any little kids to bring anymore. None that would sit and watch it for over 10 minutes. But, um, <laughs> well, he wouldn't. I have one great grandchild. I'd give him about five minutes, you know, and then he'd be interrupting Cinderella on stage. So I thought, now, maybe this won't work this year. Anyway, that's coming up, and the Art Center is full of things. Uh, let me see here. 
I, I'm going to tell you about this first. The 13th, and this is the first time the Chamber's done this in a few years, but we're going to have the Mountain Craft Festival, and it's presented by the Chamber of Commerce, but it will be held at Short Mountain Distillery. And the gates will open. It's a one-day show. The gates will open at 9 o'clock. And Short Mountain Fire Department is going to be our traffic and parking specialist, and there is a $5 charge, which goes to them. So you would be donating to the Short Mountain Fire Department, Volunteer Fire Department. And we're proud to have them because the last two uh, shows that they had their craft fairs, traffic, <laughs> traffic was big. I don't know what it'll be this year because I have had a hard time getting vendors. So I extended the time limit on that. So if you see this before the 13th and you're a vendor, I like crafts, I have plenty of food vendors, but I need craft vendors. And uh, if you would like to be a part of that, give me a call at the chamber, 615-563-2222, and I'll be glad to talk to you about it. Um, August 12th through the 27th will be Cinderella, and then September 3rd will be a concert at the Art Center, and it's going to be the Allman Brothers Tribute Band, and I have forgotten their name, but uh, they will take center stage for one night, and that will be on the 3rd. And any of their tribute bands, whether it be the Beatles, um, Shake, Rattle, and Roll, any of those are great. So if you were an Almond Brothers fan, this may be something you'll want to come mm -hmm. see. September 2nd through the 4th is the Greenway Music Festival, and it will be held at Short Mountain Distillery. And you know, at, I read somewhere where they are limited to the amount of people that they can take for this because camping will be allowed. Wow. And they have built three or more stages. There will be over 100 bands wow. participating wow. in this. This will be big. And that will be, and you will have to go on their website and that Short Mountain Distillery and find out um, further information on that or call them because the ticket sales may have stopped as of the 1st of August because they were only allowed to have so many. And since I've told you about something you probably won't get in to see, I'll tell you about something that you will. <laughs> well, that just ruined Ow. my day. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> Don't bang the table. Oh. September 2nd through the 5th, the Cannon County Walking Horse Association will hold their Labor Day ride. And of course, this has been going on for I don't know how many years. But the horses and the riders will assemble at the old fairgrounds at 11 o'clock on Saturday, ride through the town and up to the campgrounds on Short Mountain where they will have horse shows, music, dancing, camping, food, the whole nine yards will so, be up there. Let so. me ask you the proximity. Are the campgrounds in Short Mountain past the Short Mountain Distillery? No. Okay, it's before you get to Short it's Mountain Distillery. It's a different Distillery. area. Yeah. Okay. It's, right. yeah, it's kind of down, really, you could go to Gasway and go up that road mm -hmm. right. up to the mountain and you'd pass right by the gate to the camp. So we won't have to worry about any traffic conflicts with this Greenway Music Fest. They may be backed up that far, I don't know, but... <laughs> um, well, I just noticed September 2nd, you know, everything's starting up in Short Mountain seems like the place to be. Hey, it yeah. is. Coming up September 2nd. they have good sure. food up there. I've never been there. They have yeah. great Ooh, food fabulous. at their restaurant. They have great food. I'm they do. I'm going to go visit. Yes, you will, and Billy will take you on the tour. Yeah. And he will give you a taste of the moonshine or the you, bourbon. You don't want to see me with moonshine. Surely you <laughs> could do that much. It's not much bigger. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite story don't comes from out. about Short Mountain Distillery. <laughs> comes from this, right? So I'm up there taking a tour with a bunch of people, and all these people are from around here, and they know me. 
well, they think they know me. Uh, and then all of a sudden, they get to the tasting, and these people are sipping this stuff. I take it down like a shot. And as soon as I did, I put my little cup, little paper cup it's down. It's not that big. Yeah, but these people are taking sips of it, right? <laughs> And I look and I'm like, oh, I forgot the company I'm in. I should have sipped instead of <laughs> boom. Guzzled. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't matter if I sipped or guzzled. I'll be on the floor in Listen, minutes. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm not a, a drinker and especially not moonshine. <laughs> but um, I did take a taste of it. I did. And I was driving too, but um, whoa! Hey, statues of limitations. Statue of limitations. Now, <laughs> now wait a minute. I took that big drink of it, and I don't know if it's good or bad or in between. I mean, I'm, I'm not a connoisseur of moonshine, but I really thought after it went down my throat and burned all the way down that probably this is what kerosene tasted like if you could wow. drink it. <laughs> Billy's doesn't taste like that, though, does it? Well, I don't know what it, I mean, I'm just telling you what it tasted like to me. I've oh, never wow. drank kerosene either, but my husband. <laughs> it tasted uh, like kerosene smell, that's what. <laughs> now, wow. my husband, he, he's lived, he was born and raised here, so, yeah, he's tasted moonshine more than once anyway. Did he like it? I guess he did. He had a bottle of it down there at the oh, shop. Oh, boy. But I want to tell you what. It was in a fruit jar. I went down there, and I was looking for paint, oh. and I was moving all these things around, and here was this jar that had something in it, and I thought, God, this looks like a lab experiment or something. I thought, what is that in there? Well, it was a peach oh. <laughs> that they stuck in there. I, I don't know why, to flavor it, or, but it looked like they were... It was doing some things inside there. Pickling something, or I don't know what they were doing. Team. Well, it looked like a lab experiment. So. I didn't taste that now, I guarantee you. That looked like it came from a cave, so I don't know. I don't <laughs> drink things okay. like that. All right. September 9th through the 10th, White Oak Craft Fair is Yay. here at the Art Center. And of course, people come from other towns, other states. This is a big thing. These are all artisans, uh, and they will be set up down inside the building and outside the building, and there's a lot of participation in this. So that's on a Saturday and a Sunday. And then September 23rd through the 8th will be the next play at the Art Center, and it will be uh, the play that goes wrong. <laughs> Now that that's just a curse of a play. Because <laughs> you sit out there and you practice and practice and practice. And when it comes to play time, <laughs> you've got a bad omen. The play that goes wrong. Well, maybe everything will go maybe right. Maybe it will so go wrong. Know, if opposite. it does go wrong, right. how do you know? Yeah. So, there. <laughs> well, yeah. there you go. That's leaving all your options open. There you go. Yeah. September 24th. An event I work on all year is the Color of Fall Car and Truck Show. Yeah. And it will be on the square in Woodbury. Registration begins at 8 a.m. until 12 noon. Now, you can come in after 12 noon, but you won't be part of the awards because at 12 noon they stop because our judges, last year we, our show was so big, we ran out of room around the courthouse. So, um, yeah, you might want to get there early, but it is an all-day show. I have so many people that will come and check in at 15 till 12, <laughs> and then at 12.30, they're saying, when are you going to give out the trophies? Well, <laughs> you got to give the judges time to do their thing, you know. So just be aware that it is an all-day show. But um, it is a $20 entry fee for the cars and trucks. Um, that are entering the show. And motorcycles. No, I don't have a judge you for the motorcycles. We're not doing motorcycles this year? Mm -mm, we didn't do them last oh. year. I've never done them. Well, we had a, we had a, we've had a big rig come through. We've had oh, a couple of, yes, we did yeah. have, but she hasn't been there in several years. Well, we had a couple other ones, too. Yes, we Tractor did, Travis and I could never do that again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. You got a DJ for this thing? Uh, yeah. Okay. 
He's not about. real good, but you know, he could, keeps He up. could be Ooh. watching. It's him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he could be listening too, yeah. <laughs> wow. Ouch, guys. No, Keith has been our DJ for years and he does a good job. And of course, you'll hear more about that next month. But Keith, you have anything that I haven't covered? Well, we might be DJing a little bit of the August 13th event too, Mount Craft Festival. Oh. Might yes, be. you might if I don't find some pickers and grinners. <laughs> That's really what I'm looking for, some musicians too. I would like to have some music for that. Hmm. Um, I really need a starving artist because the only thing I can pay you is supper. <laughs> So, and maybe and moonshine. And moonshine. You can give him some moonshine. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Billy can take you up to yeah. yeah. the shot of moonshine. <laughs> anyway, um, well, I really that I was serious about. I do have. I do need some music. School starts on the eighth. Eight. First full day. The third. Or sorry, the eleventh. The middle school football season begins at uh, Canyon County High School. They'll be playing Westwood, Manchester, six o'clock. High school, the golf season has already started. It starts tomorrow, election day, by the way. So the golfers will be out there doing that. Then uh, you got girls soccer that starts on the, and I'm doing this all from memory. So you're good. Let's yeah. go the 17th. I can't even remember the name of my business. And, you're going. and then the football, high school football will start on the 19th with a, uh, a home game against Monterey. To start Sometimes off with, you just so draw blank. before it's you know, school is here. School is here. Unbelievable. Wow. That and that's quick. what I was going to say, and I forgot to give our contact information. You reminded me. So if you're registering for school today, this morning, you can come and register for dance this afternoon. Well, and our um, our actually our um, classes start the same as school, August 8th. So we'll be there. And you can get us at canonartsdance.com. It's the easiest thing for me to tell you. It's got all of our contact information on there. And the we have online, it, too. By the time this airs, it's going to be like next week, though. Yeah. Since it's oh. on tape. So, But hey, people well, can still listen, go to your that, website. That, they can still go to the website. Right. And the other thing is, is that we usually shuffle classes for the first month. People are getting placed, they're getting used to it, and we're taking new students the month of August, really, right. so. Yeah. That was what I was gonna ask you, is if, even with your dance classes, I know uh, you have registration, but if someone should come into the area or wanna start a little later, do they have to wait to your next registration? or can they contact you and start it? That is a fabulous time. question. So basically, if you want to be in our recital, which we have a very professional recital every year at the end of the season, you really have to be signed up by December, January. This year, we started a new program called Prelude to catch some people that just wanted to maybe try it without being in recital and also pick up some of the students that miss fall registration. Right. And that starts in March. So you, okay. we do have an option, but if you want to do the full year, um, it's best to kind of get started along with school. Right. We right. will take you, but it's, it's, it's harder for the, student to catch up and, and all of that so it, go down there and register when you're supposed to because you don't <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't sure. want your little kids outside the door down on the floor kicking and screaming because you didn't get them there on time so uh oh wow ouch <laughs> thank you and we do your um the chambers um cannon county christmas in november so and it will and that is coming up I, you're not that far away from that in fact we're going to have a meeting on that oh boy if I'm not blind, crippled, and crazy by the time I get over with this craft show, uh, we're going to schedule a meeting for the country Christmas, which is the week before Thanksgiving, because they're already putting Halloween and Christmas out. Everybody says, well, why do you have it so early? Because if you don't, everybody else is having it on the same day. So we do have it on Friday and Saturday, the weekend before Thanksgiving. And of course, Santa shows up. <laughs> I may see if I can get Cinderella's pumpkin to bring. Well, that would be fantastic <laughs> to bring Santa in on. But I'll tell you more about that later. But yes, I do want you to be part of that on Friday night. All right. Now I know we had a a group from somewhere show up last year. I'm not sure who they were. 
Well, last but. year it worked out all right. It was during COVID, and we, we will put on a big show in the studio in-house, so we'll have our clogging and our babies, so, okay. yeah. All right. Well, you don't want to miss that. No. You can go stand look in the window. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't get in, you can. Okay, I think I have, we've covered about everything that we can for this month, and I want to wish you luck, Thank Lori, you so because much. This, is, this is great that we're, I'm kind of believe, hard to believe that we're just now getting drama. You know, because <laughs> know. when I went to school, they added, well, I went to junior high, which was seventh, eighth, and ninth, and then you started high school. But we had it in the ninth grade in junior high, and then on into high school, so. Well, many yeah. years ago, I, when I first came, I tried to uh, implement it in uh, Woodbury Grammar, the old yeah. Woodbury Grammar now. But, you know, it wasn't something that was carried on. And this is a full-fledged program that... It's a class. It's a class. <laughs> we're going to be, um, you know, we're giving credit. Uh, we have curriculum. Uh, it, you know, it's going to be fantastic. And this is an introductory class, and we're rotating students basically every nine weeks to give them a taste of what it's like. And then hopefully after that, we will take on a, a bigger presence. Full class, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, that's great. I'm glad to hear it. And I want to wish you luck, and, and you've got some plans for some other things mm -hmm. that you may be planning on putting in out there that I think there is some need for it. But I will, I'll bring you back on there when you're better prepared. Okay. <laughs> When he can remember the is name of his business. Is that a possibility? Rustic elegance. <laughs> At least like you, didn't, you didn't say, is that a threat? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course it's a possibility. <laughs> but we welcome any new business, and especially one like Rustic Elegance that is an event center for whatever event you would like to have. You can always... Um, Contact them or stop by. We're really be easy glad to, to work talk. with. Very friendly people. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> and you know, you didn't bring any Disney costumes with you, did you? And I tried. They wouldn't <laughs> let me out of the building. Wouldn't but you could be a character. Oh, wait, you are. But you could be a character in one of the oh. productions. Well, oh no, no. We well yeah, he's, he's had some <laughs> We don't want any of that stuff on our body. <laughs> oh. It's crazy things. <laughs> That stuff's hot and yeah. heavy. Yeah. No, I was going to have you be something down there at the country Christmas. Oh. I just haven't figured out yet. I have a Grinch costume. I might costume. have you be a, what are they, an elf? An elf. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to shave. He goes I home to his wife. I could do that. Guess what, honey? <laughs> going to be they an want elf. me to be an elf. An elf. An for elf. Country Christmas. <laughs> for country Christmas. <laughs> no, really, I, I probably need a... What's that green guy? Grinch. Yeah, and I happen to have a costume. Oh. <laughs> yes, you do, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Why do you have a Grinch costume? Because we've had Grinches before. Oh. <laughs> what Why does not? that say about me? <laughs> well, you don't have a Grinch costume, so you're you're all right. You know? yeah. I don't have a Grinch costume either, so don't feel left out. You know. She's working on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find somebody. All right. We thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope you've had a good time and learned something. And we plan on seeing you again next month.